Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from round one of the Space Jam LA. Super excited uh, here. Going to be a great event. This is premier level X-Wing. Uh, it is all online, brought to you by Gold Squadron Podcast. My co-host for today is... Ryan Staniszewski of Also Gold Squadron. That's right. What, what? So, um, yeah, super excited. Let's go ahead and, Ryan, let's break down these lists. All right. So starting with uh, Surf and Finn, uh, with the Separatist list, we have a Feed and Atra pilot with TA-175, Impervium Plating and Solus-1, base solid carrier of the Tactical Relay. And we have a Landing Strutted Plasma Torpedo te uh, Techno Union Hyena, Another Techno Union Bomber Hyena, just with the probe droids to get those locks. Uh, one of the Trade Federation drones has energy shell charges, and the two others are empty. The only strut on the board is that plasma torpedo. And then we have our resistance list from Bryant Francis. We have Ray with a plethora of upgrades, Rose, Finn, her Falcon, Freelance Slicer, and Dead Man Switch, Kova with Leia, Heroic, and R4, and ZZ with Heroic, Crack Shot, and Advanced Optics. Well, right there in that opening, you see Bryant using Leia to get that four straight to be white and boosting in, hoping to uh, maybe get some points early here on that, uh, that Techno Union Bomber and uh, ZZ coming up as well. We might get that, our first attack bomber... here. That, that that bomber definitely, I think, overreached. You don't need to go too far to set up those probes. Uh, we could see uh, some early points. Uh, with the speed of Ray, where it has boost, and the speed of ZZ, uh, that, that bomber could have easily just did a two stray, because then those three banks and three straights for the uh, probes go out very far. So, yep, hit crit. Probably overreached for position on that. No calculates available here. And taking Nothing. hit crit essentially for free right there. Uh, Surf and Finn probably feeling a little bad. They got aggressive on that. Uh, and if Ray has a shot too, we could even see a, uh, a dead bomber here. Done pilot. He won't want to go through an obstacle in front of him. He does not have struts. He's got the one turn, but he's either going to be pointing away or pointing right at Ray next turn. All right, here's Ray. Three dice coming Oof. in, and that's... Oh, that, that's a full stack for Ray. Yep. And both both one force and a focus. Spent the force normally, and then using Ray's ability. Um, I mean, the math says this is a dead hyena. That's dead. It was three blanks. Oof. Didn't even get the probes out. Yeah, um... The early positioning, or I mean, that that speed was obviously not necessary, and we saw an early mistake. He even barrel rolled off that four straight to try and get probe position, but if you're going up against a Ray and ZZ, that's that speed you have to account for with the boost. Yeah. So now these these ships are going in this fight, obviously one whole ship down, and on top of that uh no free locks yeah i mean having uh, that target lock position right now go, go for ahead. it no you go ahead uh the way the drones are positioned right now unless they readjust their movement by a couple of them doing five straights and the other ones on the outside doing some two straights and barrel back in towards the board edge uh they're in a really easily isolated um layer right now they're in three layers instead of just two which uh, with a big ship and a small ship that can boost, that's really easy for them to start picking off selective ships. Now, before we go too far, I, we didn't even get to do the, the full intro here. Uh, this round is brought to you by Curled Paw Creatives. Use coupon code SPACEJAM2020 for 20% off. Make sure that you're ready to play in style once uh, you know we're able to play in person again. Uh, get your awesome acrylic tokens maneuver templates and all things curl paw creatives now um might be a little uh maybe 
uh, opportunity here for betting. If you haven't bet in our Choose Your Champion poll, it's super easy. All you got to do is uh, check your balance first. So you get points just by watching GSP. If you've ever if you've ever watched before, you probably have points. You can check that by t- typing exclamation point points. And then in order to bet, uh, what you're going to do is you type exclamation point bet. Then you type one or two. One would be player one, which is Bryant Francis. Two would be Surf and Finn there on the right side. You put another space, and then you type how many points you want to bet. And at the end, we split the winnings of the losers to the winners. It's that simple. And you can use your points to trigger on-screen rewards, different type of animations. Right now, we have one for every faction, and there's a couple of other ones. They do cost a certain number of points. Uh, You can type exclamation point redeem. Put a space and then the name of the product that you want to do. And you can check those names of the different uh, animations you can trigger by typing exclamation point loyalty. So have some fun with that. Again, you guys can trigger that at any point you want. Uh, Have some fun with it. Uh, One thing, it looks like the overlay shows the plasma torpedo hyena being dead. It's actually the uh, dark one probe droid that is that bit the dust on that one. Um, but we're looking like we're, we're getting, we're getting what I like to do a lot more with the separatists instead of staying in a box for too long. You got to spread out where those arcs can cover. Um, obviously, uh, surf and fins very behind right now. Um, in terms, I mean, cause it, it's not just that it's a firepower wise, the hyena wasn't providing much, right. but it was clearly setting up, uh, the plasma, the better energy shell charge and, uh, getting rerolls is a lot is a lot nicer on two dice than not having re-rolls absolutely and then that is you know you always want to try to go in double modified when you can and that's what you've lost there you've lost that guarantee um and that possibility of being able to stretch those calculates a little longer than you would have Mm -hmm. now we're seeing a good adjustment um from the resistance player bryant uh starting to split up zz and ray i think it's a very smart choice force the uh separatists to choose a direction and when uh all of them besides the remaining hyena bomber do not have struts that that big rock in the middle in front of them is going to be more difficult to get around to get everyone shooting at ray without giving zz very free shots zz going in for it now with the clear ability to two turn out either direction next turn ZZ is the jousting A wing. <laughs> mm-hmm. I joust now and leave later. That's right. So has a bullseye shot. Uh, has crack shot available. Mm-hmm. I think it might uh, might be worth actually seeing what damage can be put on the Fiend and Ultra pilot. To be honest, uh, it looks like he's going for the vulture there in front. All right, here we go. Two dice coming in. Yep, may as well spend and then just uh, you know take your take whatever one you want back next. Has the option to crack shot, but there's a bunch of calculates around. Probably saves it. Well, he, he um, the separatist player has the opportunity to spend to calculate first, so he's checking around to see where he can pull from, and then make sure that he can't be crack shotted. So he's going to pull from the hyena. And just deny the crack shot. Yep. I mean, he can still crack shot. It's not denying it, but you don't, you're not going to do it. So, still obviously good power in those network calculations. And he's opting to save the focus. Dion, with your recent video, is that the correct choice mathematically? Um, to take the focus... Instead let's, of the evade. Let's see. You he ha- has the choice on either one. You had how many ships were in range? Two of them? I believe it's going to be, the, t- if anything, the two vultures. I don't know if. Let me let me see if that Belbalab is going to have arc. It'll be close. One hit. He's doing the Belbalab shot now. All right, so safe there. Mm-hmm. 
Well, with taking two shots, you probably should have taken a an evade mathematically, but I think the focus is going to end up working out. It'll be fine. <laughs> I think this is the return fire who would also have. Oh, okay, no, this has yeah, feed and outtraw, so yep, no problem. So we're going to very likely see no damage returned on Azizi. So a wash exchange, but positionally it's going to force Surfing Finn to make a decision. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, Zizi right there in the middle has options to go wherever they want. Uh, and mm -hmm. set up that back arc shot. You have the lane to the right. And somebody reminded me in chat that Bryant Francis actually played uh, at LVO. Was that our last in-person event? Was it LVO? Last big one, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. The LVO, LV, well, no. Was it, it was the Texas System uh, Open. The Texas System the, Open, you're right. And there was a UK one at the same time. Yes, yes. But no, ZZ's in a really good spot. You can two turn either direction. You could even three bank if you really get saucy, but I'd be concerned about a block from pink. Um, if I'm the separatist player, I, Ray can only go so slow and I don't want her getting free shots. Um, I think you swing big and put as many guns on Ray as possible because uh, if the trade ends up being say one one and a half separatist drones and a hyena for ray it's not bad agreed agreed i, I want to see i mean kova carl pretty standard over there i mean so how many landing struts do we have we don't have any right it's just one on the hyena yeah so but... i mean that 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 brown uh, Trade Federation drone number two, that, that one hard tight, but like I said, you might need to swing big already. Mm -hmm. um, two bank, that, let's see here, would that two bank go over that rock? It'd be also really close. Um, it's just a matter of how much do you want to also block ZZ's potential moves and how much do you want to get guns on Ray? Right. So really quickly, there's a couple people asking about some interactions. Let's go ahead and, and hit them. Specifically, they're talking about Freelance Slicer. So Freelance Slicer, for those of you who guys don't know, is while you defend before attack dice are rolled, you may spend the lock you have on the attacker to roll one attack die. If you do, the attacker gains one jam token. Then on a hit or crit, gain a jam token. So... Um, the way this is works, like there's no shenanigans with Ray's ability. Just it has to do with the interaction with Rose. So you have the target lock out there, most likely already because of Rose, and it's just an opportunity to jam your opponent. Um, mm -hmm. That's it's that's it. So it looks like he's decided to clog up some of the lanes with ZZ. We'll see what he does with the hyena and that green vulture, because. The, the nice thing with the Separatists and the Vultures in particular is, yeah, while they could be looking at trying to um, look, you know, aim towards a ship one turn, because those hard turn blues and all their other hard turns available to them, they can turn on a dime against something else. So if, if this turn it's decided, okay, we're going to try and see what we can do to ZZ and assess after that and try and move towards Ray next that's still a viable thing to do. Mm -hmm. You just can't inhibit trying to get to Ray next turn. Those options still need to stay as open as possible. Agreed. So I want to see. All right, so he's start, starting to spread them out a little bit, trying to get a little bit sure more coverage. How much that's spread out, though. It's very limited sharing right now. That green one probably could have stayed up in the middle, but he could be trying to plan for a different move next turn. Look like, looks like coordinating. Zizi went in, so that's actually pretty good. Um, 
for him because yeah he didn't get the block with brown up top but he did take a lock with pink and the techno union with the plasma torpedo so he's opted to stay there and shoot which for zz i would just take the token stack i would not spend offensively and here is ray turning in mm -hmm. taking and the target lock of... let's see most of Ray's prime targets would be obstructed, so just going for a base drone at this point. Just trying to gain that lead. It won't be combined arms, though, so we'll just be Ray's shot on that drone. Here we go. We have uh, ZZ out the back arc onto the brown vulture. Hmm. Range 2. Probably hold bother. Up. Yep. As good as it is to provide two, that ship is not threatening you at all. You're just there to get your other token to deal with the other shots incoming, especially the plasma torpedo. Yep, and there he does take the evade, double modified behind that rock, hoping not to take any damage. Here's Ray looking at options, has the Belba Lab as well as the Vulture. Took the target lock on the Vulture, probably going to be shooting there. Mm -hmm. There it is. Let's see... It is range three. Spending Probably the lock. Op yep, opposite for the lock spend. And spends. How to get. He does have a focus because it was coordinated from Kova. Aha, there it is. That's what I was looking for. So you have probably two calculate spends he'll take two damage one from himself and one from his friend thank so you another half on a vulture just racking up those points slowly 30 to 0 at this point shout out to Alejandro Sparano one of my very good friends hello couple people asking about what are our giveaways today we could talk about them in a little bit two we should have some shots coming back in once again though i will say zz's in a really good position to tutor in either direction i mean i i think the correct choice is to turn back up to his board edge but if he wants to be aggressive he can turn down in probably gets in the way of ray too much though for next turn here we go pink vulture first shot mm -hmm. into zz trying to see if we can get some of those tokens cleared before that torpedo goes off yeah. hit crit there we go it's good all right forced to spend one of those tokens one of each Spends the evade, just so he, to guarantee. He opts, he opts to spend the evade. This is just know, barely I, obstructed. I don't know if I would have gone with the fee then next, though, because the, the goal of the plasma torpedoes is to pull those shields off. But if he gets a token out of here, it's going to be still pretty dangerous. Oh, uh, all right. That's actually the right amount of that's the right amount of shields you want off. All right, it's just one. Leave one for the plasma automatic, and then if there's two damage that gets let through, that's a dead easy. Okay, and Ray with one force. Uh, I would probably not pull from the fee then at this point. You're you trying see, to get your half on easy. He's reaching right there. He does have the torpedo coming in. I think there's a situation where he might be feeling greedy and thinking about maybe holding on to the, the torpedo, but I think when you have the shot, you got to take it. Yeah, this at least forces Ray to spend the force, which is actually pretty valuable. She ends up being force-starved in the mid-game pretty easily, as long as you get shots on her. And he's going to use Rose to gain that lock. 
This looks... It is barely obstructed, so he will have four. All right, here we go. Incoming. It uh, looks like he's actually Saving just going to do the primary. Flat? Weird. I don't. Did he forget that he has the lock? Maybe, or or he's just thinking of a situation. Maybe he wants to save it for Ray. I mean, you got two of them. A, pl a plasma torpedo could easily have been half points on ZZ right here, but even if we've got all three. Yep. Hindsight says all of AIDS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he I think he, saw he felt the, the disturbance in the force. He, he, he saw the obstructed and may have thought it might not have been worth it. Mm hmm. All right, and I think those so. are all the shots, yeah? Mm hmm. All right, so as we go into uh, into our next planning phase and talk a little bit about our stretch goals for today, um, I'm not going to show them on screen right now because I don't want to uh, to turn away from the game at the moment. But uh, when we hit 40 subs, we're going to be giving away a Gold Squadron Podcast t-shirt of your choice. When we get to 60, we have the Space Jam t-shirt. The one I'm wearing right now, you can get one of these. Ooh. At 80, we have a first... Or let me make sure I, uh, I say which one it is correctly. A first order captain's armband from Galaxy's Edge, provided by Isophane. At 100, we have a K2SO slash security droid uh, keychain from Galaxy's Edge. At 125, we have the Star Wars Celebration Darth Vader Legion model painted by Luke Carrington. Absolutely beautiful. I will tell you that we gave we tried to give this away a couple months ago and the person never put in their information. So this is this is a, a tale of you had something really, really cool and uh and you, you didn't get it because you didn't fill out the form. And then uh then at, we, blah, blah, blah. If we hit 150, we're going to be giving away the Goji Bomber painted by Luke Carrington. Uh, Gold Squadron paint cast happens every Thursday here on the Gold Squadron podcast Twitch channel. So make sure you guys are tuned in, see how Luke paints these amazing ships. He's been doing a lot of digital work as well, showing people how to uh, get their designs onto TTS. Really, really cool. So super excited. So, um, the blue uh, tray Federation is actually in a very interesting spot in deciding how you want to block Ray. Because ideally, you want to block Ray where she doesn't end up obstructed by the gas cloud. So while a two straight seems to be the ideal block, and may still end up having parts of Ray's base not obstructed, or at least still parallel with most of the ships that are attacking. There is a consideration to do like a two turn in and then utilize the green guy to run up with like a three or four straight and barrel back in in front of Ray. So you have that train block. Because um, you obviously don't want to let Ray have actions. Um, there's a high possibility Kova could end up coordinating. Uh, Kova probably does you know utilizes r4 this turn so you can clear that stress mm -hmm. easier uh because kova is not going to be online right now <clears throat> just because kova is currently stressed couldn't have uh utilized that red maneuver otherwise she would uh shoot it'd be, it'd be a white maneuver but yeah no but, actions no it, mods not good she's not quite in that like, ideal position kova likes to be in that spot where she has a, a wide range open and it's just camping in a spot and just sniping <laughs> three yeah, die three attacks much. after stopping yep so next turn i kind of thought that sloop might come into play just to reassess i i don't like the blue maneuvers it's got to do next turn so there's that turn. Nickel City X-Wing, uh, thank you for gifting a couple of subs there. Thank you so much. That turn does look to be too far to be part of the blocking of Ray, so that's unfortunate. 
We'll have to see what green does. So struts, struts open. Active there. Yep. All right. I might still just take the calculate. Ray's probably going to be range one. You're not going to have the plasma torpedo. Make that still threatening for ZZ. Yeah. You know? Mm hmm. <clears throat> and like, yeah, so that's that four straight. See this guy barrel back in and get a block on Ray. There it is. Yep. Blue maneuvers next turn aren't great for green, but the situation probably calls for this at this point. Yeah, so the I guess Ray will have only one force in this engagement, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is gonna Again, be still could get coordinated by Kova, right? Very and she true. She did take the she did take the lock on blue. Uh from Rose last turn. Alright, we saw the Leia trigger there. I pointed to R four. If that's a one hard, that becomes blue because of the, the stacking nature of the uh of the um of the abilities from red to white and white to blue. And it's assuming that he's coordinating now, which is why he's holding on to the stress. Yes. There it is. So coordinated Ray, the target lock. Interesting. So he's switching probably because he doesn't think he'll have the shot on blue. And obviously that bomber is more valuable. Yep. Ray bumps. In the green, yep. And no strain. And it's going to be a really sad Techno Union bomber because I can easily see ZZ doing that. Oh, just did a two bank. There's going to be a lot of shots going into this bomber. And there is not a lot of good return fire either. Mm -mm. Blue's not going to have a shot. Brown has a mediocre shot. Feed and Outro might be able to provide some damage to Ray. Pink won't have a shot. Here it is. Four dice. Incoming Ray. Spend the target lock on all. Oh, Ooh. wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think you just I, use yeah. Ray's ability, probably. I don't know why he rolled it. I assume he meant to... Well, that was the add, over add, a, add a blank. Yeah, he added a blank with Finn. Uh, so he just missed opportunity there, or he just wants to hold on to it just in case. So I had an opportunity to do uh, five hits. So that's half on the bomber already. Let's see what the crit is. It is direct. Oh, boy. ZZ should, should be able to finish this off. So down to one hole on that bomber. Mm-hmm. ZZ has a range Doesn't... two shot. Yeah, range two. So we'll still see two on two, but that is going to force that hyena to uh, to roll two paint. It's very likely ZZ will get two hits. <clears throat> All right. Two hits. No mods needed. <laughs> Gets to hold on <laughs> to that focus, and like you said, you Get need... Get him back. Oh, uh, there we go. Eyeball. Well, he's safe. Obviously spending pink. So, Kova is going to have to see if the Natty Dice can finish off this Hyena Bomber. Uh, Reach? Does it even have a range? It's, I think it might be a little far out. Uh, Kova, what? It's close. Maybe? <laughs> see, I, think Kova, I think Kova should have that range three. Let's see what it says. Yes, oh, yeah. range three. I mean, if he lives, it, it kind of sucks to have to shoot against the focus evaded ZZ, but that might be your only points you can get. Mm -hmm. so he's only down to one. Only one needs to go through. He might end up opting for Ray because you have a better chance of actually doing damage there. Maybe? Yeah, the issue is gaining points in the game, unfortunately. No, well, there's two from Kova. It's got three, so only one blank allowed. Might be enough. Natties, oh, natties. baby. Me. Yes. 
Get him. Get him. Get him. <laughs> He's happy. Now it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, even though Kova might actually get damage from Brown, Brown might still try and pull those tokens off of ZZ, see what shots can income. But he looks like he's looking at the arc for the Techno Union. The Ray still kept that force defensively, so... Mm -hmm. It's like he's opting for ZZ. Spend the lock... It's easy, we need two blanks. Nope. Nope, not today. Yeah. It happens. It's a shot you had to take, though. Again, I don't know if the order of operations wise, if there should have been some additional fire support. I mean, looking where all the ships ended up, I guess I don't know Dear if that Eden really did need to sloop. I wonder if a three bank could have put him in a pocket in front of the blue drone. At least helped shoot ZZ. Hit crit. Solid shot on Ray. It's not obstructed, so Ray should just be... Oh, it's range three, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> okay. Natty's ability Why <laughs> Don't need it. But I'm not in Ray's arc. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, oh. Obstructed with an evade on ZZ doesn't feel good. Damage to Kova probably feels better. Yeah. There's actually a solid amount of guns that can point at Kova next turn, too, and because of the stress, it's pretty limited. So maybe pouring some damage on Kova might be the way to go. Was able to get hit crit here. There it is. Heroic! <laughs> Try it again. And does one, one damage. So, I mean, between the, the two straight or three straight with Brown, if you just say, you know what, I'm stressed, whatever, feel an outro, I'll just point at Kova, do like a one turn. Blue's got a one turn open. Uh, that red can just sit there. If if pink has a job this turn, it's to block the sloop from Ray. You have to. Uh, does, I'm just reminding myself real quick, if she has a 4k open to her, I think it is just mm. the sloops. Mm -hmm. Just the sloop. Yep. And we know there's only one direction that she's going to sloop. Like, I don't think they take the chance on that rock, even though there's, there maybe is a chance for it to stay. I think Pink's job is to make sure Ray does not get a shot this turn by getting a good block in. Leave it to only Kova and ZZ to try and finish off that a techno union bomber agreed yeah i'm pretty sure that sloop to the right fits should be fine oh yeah i'm concerned about the left like if he goes for it mm -hmm. assuming he's thinking pink will block it he might just say you know what let's let's try the left and see what happens because he's he's pretty ahead in this game he can yeah. take i mean it'd be an unnecessary risk but Getting blocked facing that board corner is probably... Oh, actually, it's it's a pretty bad spot for Ray. I mean, she does have her back arc. Right. That is a thing. But it's obviously a lot less dangerous than the front arc. Give you guys a, uh, a ta table view. A little bit close <laughs> up there. Got some people in the chat singing, Big boy moves, do the other sloop. Table like, cam. If you, if you attempt a three sloop right, you can shoot out the back. I just don't know about Ray's successive turns. If she goes to the right for the sloop, gets blocked, that board corner is not great to get out of. And mm -hmm. if blocked correctly, it could be in such a wonky position, it takes three turns to get actually into any spot to do real damage. Uh, granted, Ray does have her title so she can still perform uh turret arc rotations and boosts while stressed and boosts 
Now, of course, we're talking about the sloop, assuming that Ray wants to utilize the front arc in order to do maximum damage, could continue forward. One of the problems with continuing forward, um, especially if you don't take like a tactical bump, is uh, you start... It extends where your turnaround maneuver ends up being, and it can take you longer to get back into the fight, especially that now it would seem that the momentum of these vultures and the hyenas are starting to head down towards that bottom right-hand corner of the board. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ray doesn't necessarily... I mean, this, this game is far enough in hand to where Ray doesn't need to always, like, front arc on target every turn as possible if it could end up putting him in a bad position in a clear, easy block. Mm-hmm. Which I'll say, you can visualize where Ray's gonna be with that sloop, but getting like pink isn't a weird like that turn to me. That like that's no matter which way he if he barrels down to the back, I'm not hundred percent sure if that's gonna block. But looks like he's just opting to take the calculate. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so into bank boost anticipating finding Ray. In that top, yeah, I mean, that if, corner. if that sloop lands and goes down, that Feed and Outra is going to have a a nasty range one, maybe out of arc shot on Ray. Unmodded though, that Belba Lab, while it does have linked actions, uh, its clearing blues are really bad. In my honest opinion, it's one of the most balanced linked action to dials in the game. You actually have to think about it. <laughs> All right, there Not are. Not to say you don't have to think about others, but this you have to think about the most. Closing in on Kova and threatening ZZ. Uh, looks like yeah. I mean, he even locked the Techno Union bomber uh, on Kova, so he is. Kova can't uh, get mods. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, on top of doing zeros and reverses, Kova's going forward. Opted into the one turn. That'll clear the stress using both the R4 and Leia ability. Takes the focus gotta, for herself. <laughs> cannot share with people this turn. <laughs> ZZ turned out as well. Takes the Ray focus. Attempted the three straight. Yeah. You know, like you said, you know, the, the sloop is one of those things where a lot of people go for it and see it coming but in this type of where are the where they're at in the game it's safer to just say i'll go forward and if i make it cool if i don't i got my back arc hit crit but has an opportunity case, to take a target lock adds a blank Ethan outro was in the forward arc moves the target lock using the rose ability mm-hmm and spends uses the force Ray. for three hits and a crit using Ray's ability. Well, that Solus one will be active. Uh, he should. I think he's going to his car to check. Yes. So no arc. He'll be able to reroll that dice. No dice. So he'll be taking two shields and a crit, in which actually impervium plating might be able to save him here. It it's does. a ship crit, no fuel leak. Ship crit. So good. Impervium plating, so good. Mm -hmm. Bye, bye, bye. You usually only see that on high priority Belba Labs like Grievous. Mm -hmm. But he opted the points into impervium plating, which has always has a chance to save you damage in a game. And maybe the investment Dave. there is just to uh, keep that pinata droid TA-175. Mm -hmm. See ZZ trying to finish off blue, and with advanced optics, will do so. Don't even bother spending. I mean, it will be the end of I-5, so yeah, yeah you could spend his own calculate to mitigate cards how many how many cards that. <laughs> yeah so he's in within range we're gonna get some calculates out there but um not a lot of sharing just a bunch of people getting them for themselves 
We talked about it earlier, right? That's one of the consequences with spreading out your ships. Mm-hmm. Uh, brown should get... No, brown's outside of range three, so yeah. You're only going to get a few. Pink is going to be able to share with that Techno... That Techno Union should be able to hit really hard on Kova. Like, this should be a really good plasma torpedo, barring a double evade defense with Kova. We'll see if he's... See if he's willing to spend focuses offensively, which he was not. Spending that calculate for green. Mm -hmm. Safe. Yeah. Don't need to go hard into green with Kova. You're only going to generate two. Green has not taken damage. But green is the energy shell charge vulture, though. It, oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, here we go. So is he going to fire the plasma? Oh, he will. It's at Kova. Kova's already taken a shield, so... Uh, yeah, just that, spend a calculate. That seems spend good. Zone. Mm -hmm. That'll be three, so we are guaranteed to lose a shield plus a damage. There That's going to be it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was concerned about. I was like, oh no. Well, he does have a follow-up from Brown, but Kova got to keep his focus which does make uh, Trade Federation Brown Man a little sad, but Pink's going to try and follow it up. Maybe try and pull that focus off so Brown's incoming shot will get those half points. Plasma torpedoes are all gone. Another shot? Uh, not without a target lock. Mm -mm. Oh, that's... There were two target locks on there. Mm-hmm. One of them was the Techno Union Bomber, which he didn't use. Here comes Brown. Crit's going to go through, so we'll get our half on Kova. Kova, you should have spent the focus on offense, apparently. <laughs> crit, and the crit is uh, Stunned Pilot. Uh, I think Stunned Pilot should have kept its claws from the previous edition if you bump into ships. Agree. Yeah, we were just talking. We were talking about that earlier today. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is the blank crit because pilots. I think competitively, at least, um, you understand how not to hit rocks. You know, it's yeah. I it guess just also tells drones that they can't enter or leave rocks. They get to either stay there or never touch them again. Right. That's it. <laughs> it's weird thinking about a. a droid that's stunned like, <laughs> beep boop oh no beep boop <laughs> roger I, cannot roger anymore nope rogers denied and i think probably so, the reason they went about taking away that clause is because uh, obviously a strategy when people would get stunned pilots like well, i'm just gonna block you to death now that might have been the reason why they took it off but i i I like that counterplay. Me too, especially against Force. Truth. Make force you sad. has to think about getting blocked instead of just, oh, I don't have a shot on me because I'm blocked. Yep. Granted, they can't reposition. It's a big part of their game plan. But um, So Ray is in a much easier spot to potentially sloop. Uh, yep. That Feath and Outdraw would have to go way out of his way to get that block, which while could be important, gets rid of TA-175 for a lot of his teammates that are starting to float away. <laughs> um, Floating away. Wee. AP-5. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good episode. Love it. So this... Uh, I think with Kova, you just, it may seem obvious, but you do the one reverse um, out to where that red hand is right now, where the where Bryant is looking at it, because if you get blocked, you're still looking at opposing ships. Uh, Brown would have to do a weird maneuver to and still get an action to be able to block that. Because mm -hmm. the two straight, he blocks himself, and that one bank might still hop over him. If he two banked out behind Kova, Brown's uh, Brown's just out of the game for a few turns. So, 
Now, I want to remind everybody who's watching. Uh, the Space Jam Tournament is a two-day event, so we're going to be completing our event tomorrow. So hopefully you guys can join us. We have 200 people watching from around the world. Hello. How are you guys doing? Let's see. Let's see. We have anybody? What would be crazy right now? Anybody out there from Australia watching right now? Any Aussies in the chat? Let me know. Well, he did go that two bank. <clears throat> So, and uh, as pointed out by someone in the chat, uh, Kova can if, if Kova gets blocked and doesn't get an action, you can just do a red maneuver, take the stress and keep your force, and you still have a mod. That was a nice two bank there by Pink, barely squeaking by. Also, there's obviously the opportunity that Kova could have just said, "Nope, leaving three bank." Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not interested. Do not want to play. There's that, there's that boost. I think it, I think that Feathen will want to uh, link this turn. Got you got your blues open mostly for next turn. Where are my Europeans at? Where are my Europeans at in the chat? Seems like most of Oz is asleep. I figured. I mean, we do have Octacon playing in the third Space Jam in a row. I think it still hasn't gotten to the Aussie Space Jam yet. <laughs> I think, and he's just signed up for that one. It'd be, it'd be kind of funny if he wasn't. He went to have, he did all the others, but the one hand <laughs> like, that helps his time zone. <laughs> yep, so he got he backed up, just taking the stress. Yeah, you, you got force. There goes ZZ. Easy, you got a you got a guy in front of you. South American wing, call in. Had someone from Brazil, Peru. Got South Africa. That's cool. That's right. Lithuania. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I got to. I know, like the there's a, a South African group who all support on Patreon. Every single one of their patreon stuff from the last one all got sent back i have no idea why oh, it was no. really strange but all on the same day i got all the south south african patreon stuff back i was like oh man <laughs> so if you guys are wondering dion tries his hardest he loves you all i <laughs> try so hard but in the end didn't even it matter. does all matter all right ray Snake eyes, add the blank, spend the lock. Yep. One out, uh, one out of the box. Did he have the lock from the previous turn? He did. Okay, I was going to say, if he spent the lock, he couldn't have had four dice, but we're good. Uh-oh. Get that soulless one. Get him. Yeah. Hit crit, though. See if Impervium comes through again. Do it. Do it. Chip. Oh, got him. Save two damage. <laughs> <laughs> God. I think every time I see that card trigger, it always pays off. But then... Every time. I never see it, like, on a ship and it succeed very often in overall rankings. But when I see it in play, it gets used. That potentially... Impervium playing those two charges this game saved him four damage yep because it because it canceled out a double damage it canceled out a fuel leak and it canceled out a direct hit all right ryan uh hold, hold down the fort for here for a minute nick join him i gotta go get some coffee okie dokie so we got all right kova incoming Looks like ZZ put in a damage into the Feathen Hotra pilot. Kova yeah, try, trying to get rid of green. Green with that energy shell charge. Four dice. Brian has been rolling very well. I, I can say that. He's been <laughs> a game of variance for him, positive variance. Hit crit into green. Oh, wrong flip. Wrong flip. Yeah, panic, panic. Droids are sad when they panic. Yeah. They, they, 
it's a panic roger roger right there <laughs> one hole left on green which is the one with the energy shell charges mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hasn't used it yet might not ever get to use it because yeah, he's with, range one with it being a, it's a five points now right so that's that's a lost investment it feels bad if you're not able to get that off now it does cost What are these four dice? Oh, it's Feathen. Oh, that's a good shot. Not bad, okay. Good shot. Well, Brian's gonna roll three evades, just naturally. Oh, one out of the <laughs> okay. box. Get to re-roll. Sad. Yeah, <laughs> my, goodness. Evade. my goodness. I mean, it's it's a focus of Aiden. And when, when Feathen had no mods, it's very likely he was gonna defend it. It's the, the funny part is, Bryant has the mods, but he hasn't needed them that often. <laughs> this is well, I would have gotten there a little bit, mostly. Yeah, he hasn't. It's frustrating when your opponent doesn't need to even spend their tokens. Most yeah. Of it's like, yeah. ah, man. Oh, okay. COVID, COVID taken two. All right. Should be some. How much time we got left? Got 20, just under 24 minutes. Oh, oh no. God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh oh, who accidentally pressed the button? Oh, you did. Oh no. It was me. Yeah. Oh All no. Right. Dion's gonna crucify me, but thankfully we have an auto save. So auto save. Uh, auto save. We were just we were just at twenty three minutes. And I have two monitors. So I'm, I'm doing all the score keeping, and I was clicking around, and unfortunately my cursor went to my. That, that's primary. okay. That's